Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. You have found Brutuska Gaming. Today on Scrap Mechanic, I went ahead to the Steam Workshop and searched for Thanksgiving. This is some of the stuff we came up with. I only came up with these four things here. The turkeys, the oven, and then this hovercraft. So we're going to start with those. And I saw a couple of things that were on the main page that I wanted to look at as well. So we're going to start with the most Thanksgiving thing we have here. And that's a turkey leader by Luop the Great. There's no other description on this. Go ahead and take this off a lift and... Okay... Does it have a seat somewhere? How do we get into this thing? Is there a button I don't see? If we go here. Nope, that just tips it over backwards. There is, however, a button there if I can hit it. There we go. Hopefully one closes the doors. Yep. Two, activates the thrust in the back. That's cool. Oh, it floats. That's what three does. Three is like a jumping motion. Oh, and it flaps. Ah! Oh, that's not really working the way he wanted it to, I'm sure, right there. Because it's not supposed to do that. Maybe I can get it to get back on it. Just got to roll over it. Maybe this... Um, Turn all this off. There we go. Now three makes him fly. Can we turn while we're flying? Oh, sure we can. Looking around. Can we tilt back? Oh, we can walk. What? Wait. We need to get back down to the ground. This thing walks. What? Come on, get on your feet. How come it's not getting on its feet? Um. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Yeah, so I guess that's the amazing balancing turkey. <laughs> that thing's kind of cool. I, I gotta say, yeah, that's it walks, it flies, it floats. We have an oven by Wolf Five Hundred Five for Thanksgiving dinner. Like I said, I have not tried to spawn any of these in yet. Hopefully, it's not going to be too horrible for us. Oh, that's cool. Just got a turkey here that slides on out at you. That's cool. Can we close it? Sure can. Oh! <laughs> Alright, that was pretty cool. You close the oven and it blows up. No dinner for you guys. That's funny. And there's almost nothing left of the pan. That's awesome. I might have to see that again. That was pretty cool. So you build it in. It automatically pushes everything out at you. Uh-huh. <laughs> that is cool. That is cool. I like that. Alright, let's see what else we got in here. Uh, we got kind of a hovercraft. I'm not really sure why this popped up when I searched for Thanksgiving. But it did. So I'm going to give it a shot. Take a look at it here. Alright, we can turn. Forward. Cool. 
seems to work pretty good. Kind of drifty, but not horribly. Oh, what was that? Okay. Try this again. I'm not sure why it decided to uh, go crazy like that and flip. Kind of weird. Oh, yeah. This thing is super controllable. Doesn't go super fast, but it goes plenty fast enough. I mean, if it go, went much faster, I think it would flip. I'm just going to delete that now. All right, what else we got down here? The, this thing. Benefactor Dubsta 6x6 by Richie Z. Oh, shoot. This one here, kind of a hovercraft, was 72 ideas. I just realized I never gave them credit for that one. And I certainly did not build it, so I do not want to take credit for it. We'll try this thing out. Okay. Um. Wait, what? Okay. That's kind of interesting, I think. Sounds like we're running... Oh, that's because this flat map's not really flat. What is going on? The turning on this thing is insanity. Because it's so top-heavy, you try to turn and it's like, no. doesn't want to do it. Ugh. Super top-heavy. Now, what do these switches back here do? There weren't any switches connected to it. Let me hit this one. Now it turns on the light. Turns on the radio. I wonder if that's supposed to be a heater. Kind of looks like one of those infrared heaters there. Alright. So there's that one. Like I said, it's really top heavy. It's got to have a suspension glitch or something somewhere on it, because the way it was turning, it was actually leaning into the turns and such. So now, we've got Steampunk Train by Folkish Meteor 89, but it also, as well, has a Steampunk Car Box. Folkish Meteor 89. So I assume that these ones go together somehow, magically. Oh, that was bad. That was really bad. Why did you do that? Alright, there we go. That's much better. I assume that these things actually do move and drive and everything. Unless it's just supposed to look cool. Okay, so one. Oh, that's a cool door. Closes the door in the back. Two. Opens up the latch. Okay, three. Puts thrusters pointing down. That's probably for the smokestacks. We don't need those at the moment. Four. I don't see anything happen. Oh, there's lights inside. Four turns the lights on inside. Five is a horn. That makes sense. Hop out of here and get stuck in the top of it. Alright. Let's take this. Put it over here. Like that. That's pretty close. And this... Put it over here. It's way above it. Like that. Drop it down. Oh. Alright. Let's walk up here with no frames. I don't know why we have no frames. 
we should have plenty of frames unless it's just because they're so close together. Pick this guy up and move him over here real quick. Does that help? Oh yeah, that helps a ton. You know what? I bet there's a track that these things actually sit on. I bet there is. The way that those poles come down like that, I bet there's a elevated track system. Um, yeah. So these, these help keep it on the track itself. So we probably don't actually have any steering on this thing. No, it's free floating. Okay. Well, then these wheels back here are powered. Alright. Lots of stuff. Holy cow. Alright. Let's go take a look at this one. I don't have any tracks to look at, so I can't tell you how it drives. But looks super cool. Let's take a look at the car now. Push this button. Oh, yeah. Same style that I had, only he's got two doors with dual pistons on them. I only had one door with one piston on it because it was all I needed. If I remember right, I also had something glitch through the wall to make it flush. Because I bet these aren't flush when they close, are they? No. They're step back. Still, very cool creation. I wish I had train tracks that I could spawn it on. But I didn't see that when I was in the workshop, so... Can't do that. Next up, I think this is going to wrap it up for us. We have the TA-116 Armored Train. And it's by Nickpus X. This is the TA-116, which is an armored road train or very long tank. It's basically an armored train that don't go on rails. Might be leggy. Oh, boy. Let's see how bad this is. Um, it's, it's laggy for sure, but it's not horrible. I've made think, whoa, I don't want that. That is way too much. Come on, jump up and in there. Um, can we not get in? Oh, you gotta crouch. Alright. So in theory, lights, yeah. More lights. Okay. Drive. Okay, drives pretty good. That's cool. I'm not sure how it's steering. Let me see what happens if I just try to steer. Oh, it's just got tank steering on it. Okay. I wonder if each individual car has tank steering on it then. Hmm. Hmm. Cool little creation. It's got a bunch of guns on it, and I'm betting that's the other seat that's on here. So I'm going to hit that seat once I line up with all this debris. Or try to line up with all this debris. But I bet when I jump out, I'm going to launch. Yep. Alright. Run over here real quick. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. There it goes. I pushed the wrong button. There we go. What's this button do? Yeah. Does it go up? One of them goes up. Oh! I think they're both supposed to go up. How come that one's not going up, though? Down. I didn't mean to jump out, but it happens. So I wonder if this car has got more that we can do. Does have another... Can we turn the... Oh, we sure can. 
and up. Oh yeah, up, down. Wait, wait a minute. This looks like it's made out of cardboard. Why can we point this far down? Is it not pointing down as far as it looks like it's pointing? It's not pointing down as far as it looks like it's pointing down. Oh, cool. Oh, maybe it is. Yep, we can shoot ourselves. I'm pretty sure he wasn't thinking that this could happen. Well, we just made the train in front of us a uh, convertible. Yeah, I'm going to say we did that on purpose. We didn't, but I'm going to say we did. Oh, and it's doing that thing where you get stuck inside of it. I don't like... My creations do that a lot, too, and it sucks. I hate getting stuck inside of the creation. What's back here? Oh, there's multiple seats back here. Wait. Can this? Oh, no, it's just a... <laughs> oh, there we go. It's just a rear gunner seat. All right. And then... Man, it happened again. Ooh, it is getting laggy the longer it sits here, though. That's not good. Try to get back in here to the other seat. Oh, get in there. So this is probably going to be this top gun. Yeah. Can we turn around and shoot forward into the car beside us? Oh, it looks like we can. Aim down. And shoot. Oh, yeah, it destroys itself good. Look at all those parts go flying. He's right, it is pretty well armored. What are we hitting up in the front now? <laughs> We're hitting something metal in the front car there. We've cut through the middle car. No, oh, and it's getting leggy bad now. Alright, let's get out of here with this. Cool creation. I really like that. That's very cool. All the guns on it are fully articulating. That's a very cool creation right there. And that wraps it up for us for today. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe for additional content. This has been Brutuska Gaming, and I'll see you next time.